Wood rot is honestly one of the most persistent problems in construction. Modern decks, fences and roof beams, well, they often crumble within a generation, even though we use chemical treatments, paints and sealants. Yet Viking ships crossed oceans, faced freezing seas and survived storms without rotting. Roofs and halls built by Vikings endured centuries on land and water. How did they do it? The answer is surprisingly simple. One method, consistently applied, transformed ordinary softwood into timber that resisted decay, insects and water exposure. Modern builders have, for the most part, forgotten it, but it is still practical and achievable today. The Vikings' secret was accepting water rather than fighting it. You see, modern thinking treats moisture as the enemy. Paints, membranes and synthetic sealants all try to trap wood in a permanently dry state. Vikings understood that water would always reach timber. Their strategy was not to keep wood dry, but to make it dry safely and quickly. By allowing wood to breathe, expand and contract naturally while removing its decay fuel, they prevented rot before it could take hold. This mindset is, really, the foundation of the lost Viking hack. Selecting the right trees removed decay before construction even began. Vikings were meticulous in tree selection. Slow-grown trees with dense heartwood were favoured for structural elements. Sapwood, which is full of sugars and starches that fungi feed on, was avoided. Timber was cut during winter dormancy when sap levels were at their lowest. For modern applications, this means choosing heartwood-dense boards for outdoor or structural use and harvesting or sourcing wood during dormant seasons whenever possible. This step alone, honestly, dramatically increases longevity without chemical treatments. One of the most powerful aspects of the Viking method was soaking timber in water before construction. Logs were submerged in rivers, ponds or tidal zones for months. This was not neglect, it was chemistry. Cold water leached sugars and starches from the wood while leaving structural fibres intact. Microbial activity slowed and the wood became far less attractive to rot fungi. This simple hack effectively starved decay organisms before timber was ever shaped or installed. Today, soaking posts or beams for weeks before slow drying can provide similar protection, particularly for ground contact or exposed outdoor use. After soaking, timber was dried slowly under cover with airflow. This could take months or even years. Slow drying allowed the internal cell structure to compress evenly, increasing density and reducing cracks. Modern kiln drying, by contrast, forces water out rapidly, leaving stress fractures and making wood more vulnerable to moisture cycling. Air-dried wood behaves differently under wetting and drying cycles, resisting cracking, warping and rot far better than quickly kiln-dried lumber. Patience in drying is a Viking principle still unmatched by modern practice. Vikings also used controlled heat or light charring. This was not burning, it was surface treatment. Light charring killed surface organisms, hardened fibres and reduced moisture absorption. Once charred, wood was coated with heated pine tar, oil or fat. For modern application, lightly char wood surfaces, brush away loose carbon and apply warm oil or tar repeatedly. This creates wood that resists rot and insect damage far more effectively than surface-only coatings. Vikings designed planks and beams so that water did not accumulate at joints. 
Overlaps, beveled edges and compression joints meant that wood swelled when wet and tightened seams instead of trapping moisture. Clinker-built ships exemplify this. Each plank expanded in water, sealing the hull naturally. Even today, designing overlaps, slopes and proper drainage paths allows timber to shed water and reduce rot risk without relying solely on coatings. Vikings never assumed protection was permanent. Ships were retarred, roofs maintained, and damaged boards replaced early. Regular maintenance prevented small issues from becoming structural failures. Modern builders often rely on maintenance-free promises which fail silently. The Viking method demonstrates that wood longevity depends on preparation, design and care, not just chemical coatings. By combining careful tree selection, seasonal felling, water soaking, slow drying, surface treatment, joint design and maintenance, Vikings created timber that endured centuries. For survivalists, homesteaders and historical builders, these steps are a proven, accessible system for long-lasting structures without industrial chemicals. If this exploration changed the way you think about wood and durability, support in the beginning by subscribing, sharing with fellow history enthusiasts, and helping preserve centuries of practical knowledge for future generations.